Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Ahmad Khan and I'm a cybersecurity expert and a programmer. And today's uh, session, we will be diving into the practical demonstration exploration of DLL hijacking. We will be discussing its mechanics and even implement application and detail. So let's talk about what is meant by DLL hijacking and then we will see the practical demonstration. First, you have to understand how DLL hijacking works. And once you will understand by uh, visualization, I will show you visually. But first of all, let's talk about what is DLL hijacking. DLL means dynamic link library, which is basically a format of portable executable. Uh, as a hijacking technique is a type of attack where an attacker plays a malicious DLL file in the directory that a legitimate application will load from. So instead of the expected directory will, where the legitimate DLL is stored, this can cause the application to load the attacker DLL instead of the legitimate one, which can load to which can lead to malicious code execution probably. So we will be targeting Chrome DLL and we will be focusing on ELF chrome dll and we will be placing our malicious own elf dll inside the chrome directory so whenever your vectum or our vectum will try to execute chrome install on their operating system the chrome will load our malicious dll as you can see here this is the chrome browser as i said before in this lecture we will be targeting chrome browser so this is the legitimate application let assume that which is installed on Vectum machine. So whenever Vectum will click Chrome browser in order to use it, first of all Chrome will search for the DLL to load. Probably Chrome requires some DLL files to load and order to work properly. So probably Chrome will search legitimate DLL inside the directory where Chrome exists. I mean in the same directory. So what DLL hijacking does instead of looking for dll i mean instead of looking for malicious dll first of all what we will do we will try to replace this legitimate dll with our own malicious dll so once we will replace this malicious dll with the legitimate one probably once chrome will search for the dll file to load probably there will be malicious dll and as a result chrome will load malicious dll so probably once chrome will load malicious dll we will be able to take fully control on vectum system so let's get started how it's work by practical demonstration so let me give you a practical demonstration and you can see here for this uh, demonstration purpose i'm using just nano core rate and I have to show the process how it's gonna work. So first of all, what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on builder setting. Probably I'm using local network and the port uh, for the demonstration purpose, as I said before, I will use uh, probably 4444. And then I will click on compile. I will click on compile. And I, probably I want to save in the save directory. So I will just ex uh, rename it to like uh, Chrome. Just for this lecture, I will click. Uh, this port is point non -print. okay i will click on ok yes i will click on yes oops what's happening okay boom you can see here chrome payload is successfully generated so now what i'm going to do uh, i'm going to click on network and then i'm going to click on port manager and then probably i will click on enable so once I will click on enable, let me click on connection and you can see here for now I don't have any incoming connection. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, probably, I'm going to upload this file which is basically our malicious um, file. So let me copy the address and once I will click on copy the address and let me upload on zip share. I will click here, I will click on show all. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to paste and I'm going to hit enter. This is the file. I will click on open. You can upload. I'm so sorry what's happening to this. I'm, I'm unsure probably. So let me search for another file if it's possible. Alternate to all. Okay. Let me search this one. If it allows us to upload our uh, malicious uh, file probably or I will try uh, media fire. 
media fire which is fine for the demonstration lecture so we'll click here as well and while on the other hand let me try this if it's allow me to upload the file so i'm going to click here okay let me click and show all files and probably i will choose chrome uh, upload queue let me do it and let's see um, it's not allowing me to do it so i will try to use uh, mediafire for now probably for this purpose cloud is recommended um, so i don't have uh, for now any cloud so that's why i'm trying if it's possible otherwise i will try with potty so i will click on begin upload well on the other hand what i'm going to do uh, okay let me copy the url and let me paste here and let me hit enter button yes leo and uh, then what i'm going to do okay i will copy link address so once i will copy link address probably i have the code of other dll and c plus plus so i will open it and let's try it um, let me open uh, visual studio and you can see here this is the path uh, i mean this is the reference to the malware so i will click here probably i'm going to i'm going to remove everything since i will reflect or uh, replace it with my own malware so for this purpose what i'm going to do i'm going to remove and then i will paste the copied url and boom now it's done so now what i'm going to do uh, first of all probably i have to right click on the chrome and r2 specify that the compile file will be dot dll instead of exe since we are going to build dll file instead of uh, executable uh, since i'm using uh, rdp let's see if it's uh, okay yeah it's working let me click uh, let me click here i'm going to okay let me click on property and under configurations property section you have to click on general and in the general section there will be configuration type you have to uh, probably click here and by default it will be dot exe you have to choose dot dll and then you have to apply it. you have to click on okay probably in my case i already did it so first let me clean the project let me clean solution so now again let me click here and let me click on clean solu uh, sorry a uh, build solution probably i would like to build right now the dln and you can see her build is success so i will click here i will click and probably i will click 64 debug this is the file okay this is we got it so i will rename it probably and this will be chrome underscore elf okay uh probably it already exists so i will click on ok and i will right click here i will delete again i will click here i will rename it this should be uh chrome underscore elf okay so now i will copy this let me click on copy let me choose let me click on copy so once i will copy what i will i will visit the chrome directory i have already but i will paste it so i will click here and i will click on replace and boom now we are ready so now i will minimize everything uh, let me minimize this let me minimize this and minimize uh, let me minimize it okay let me click on nano core and you can see her uh, just pay your attention for now i don't have any incoming connection what will happen if i will click on the chrome in order to execute it just pay your attention and boom you can see her chrome elf replacement dll loaded i will click on ok just pay your attention i just clicked the chrome browser payload is uh, successfully the dll file has been hijacked while on the other hand you can see her we got the reverse shell i mean incoming connection so now we can take fully control in this system we can remotely control each and everything okay what i can i can uh, i can click on connection and i can restart each and everything if i will click on multi-core you can see you can see the tools and probably 
and then you know, core recovery tools and you can see here each and everything so we have fully control on this particular system okay you can see how we can do each and everything depends on us if all click on uh, file manager and you can see here we have all these file inside probably this system we can steal it so now let me scan the DLN and let me show the result the detection result I mean how much antiviruses detect this particular file so I will copy the path and probably I will use uh, web sex scanner I will click on browse and once I will click on browse I will click on show all files and I will uh, probably edit the address and then I will paste it and all right to choose my DLL I will uh, select this and I will click on open and just pay your attention once will uh, once it will upload uh, it will start scanning in order to check whether the file is malicious or not uh, so just pay your attention so you can see here the scanning process is successfully started so I'm just waiting for the scanning process once it will done then it will gives us an entire result like how many antiviruses uh, detects uh, this particular file so I'm waiting for this so you can see here the file has been successfully scanned and the malicious DLL is fully undetectable you can see here zero detection out of 38 into RSS so this DLL is probably fully undetectable and N2RS will not be able to detect this file. So I hope uh, you got something new from this lecture. You can visit cybersecrevolution.org backslash shop or you can visit cybersecrevolution.org and then you can click on shop. You can shop your desired product. Keep in mind we have reduced 20 to 35 percent price for each product so you can avail this opportunity in order to take your desired product. Thank you.